I'm DJ Clark here at Global Sources at the Mobile Electronics Expo, and I'm here with Ya Feng from F&P uh, Robotics. So we're talking robots again. Tell us a little bit about your product here. We've just seen it making a cup of coffee. What, what else can it do? Yeah, our, our robot is called the Corporation Robotic Arm. So it's designed to co-work with your like with human beings. So curls interact with humans. For example, like serve your coffee. Also in factory, it stand next about with the worker and give it part, operate some device. So all it about is like interact with humans, not like a separate uh, industry robotic arm. Now we saw you there um, using your computer to control it. Is, is there sort of a future? Is, is it, will it always need a computer, or will there be other ways of controlling it in the future? Actually. For our next generation, we actually embed all these like control devices inside the robots. So all you need is access to with internet or with some local network. Then you can connect with it, control it, remote anything. So even you, you can use cell phone, use tablet, you can communicate with it and control it. And, and how far is it? Is it available to buy now, or is it going to be something that's going to be on the market in the future? Actually, it's already on the market, and we just we will just release the second generation of this P robot. Okay, and, and what sort of people are buying it, um, and what are they using it for? Yeah, currently, we have several applications. First, definitely serve serve robotics, so it serves coffee in a restaurant, and uh, second is like some like a uh, lab. To buy it to to do the lab automation. So without human beings in the labs, they operate the device. They try to test the part. The second is also we we are also using the industry environment for like small assembling kind of things like this. And if I was interested in buying one of these for my coffee shop, well, what what sort of price is it going to cost me? Uh, now it's around like twenty five thousand euros. Okay, so yeah. it's about 25,000 euros, but I guess I save on having to employ a staff to... to yeah, especially in Europe, we are like a Swiss-based company, so the salary there is super high, so yeah, you kind of save the cost of the salaries. But are you making these in China or are you making them in Switzerland? Uh, currently it's making in Switzerland, developing and making it all in Switzerland. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah.